This is a 1941 Universal Carrier. This is the kind of thing that they had before there were Jeeps, four wheel drives, those kind of things. Um, I think the Jeep was like 1945. So this is all they had up until it was like a wheeled four wheel drives. And we got a go in one. We had, we had a go in one. Um, really weird thing. It has a steering wheel, like a big vertical upright steering wheel at the front to turn. And it seemed a bit kind of... <coughs> Was it warm that day? I think it was still quite warm. It was like it was raining on and off. It was we raining. Got lucky with the weather. Oh, we did get lucky with the weather that day, yeah. But the reason why I think it was warm, it wasn't warm, was because where I was sat was right next to the engine. So I kind of got like third degree burns down the side of my leg, but I was so happy about going in it, I didn't care. Uh, but it's powered by, I believe, a Ford Flathead V8, which I think in 1941, when it was new, put out 85 horsepower. I think your Hyundai is like double that. But not as fun. Sorry, it's just not as fun. I don't know what else to say about it. it like, I, I know absolutely nothing about this type of vehicle apart from it was just a good bit of fun to go out and have a go in it. The guy got like a big collection of different things. I um, can't remember what else he had because I don't know anything about military equipment, but it was still fun. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to read some things off the Wikipedia page because that's surely more informative than how I am being right now. The Universal Carrier, also known as the Bren Gun Carrier. Okay, I couldn't have given you that information. Thanks, mm -hmm. Wikipedia. From the light machine gun armament. That's a word that I know. <laughs> it's a common name describing a family of light armored tracked vehicles built by Vickers Armstrongs and other companies. Oh yeah, that's that's what it was like, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It was like that. I don't know if that's the same one. Don't think it is, but it was like that. Um, Imagine going into battle in one of those. Like, you go into war. Where'd you park? <laughs> well, Sainsbury's have an hour for free, um, but you have to get, at least get a receipt from the from the checkout. But I'm sure, in 1941, they just put it wherever they wanted. Yeah, the engine was a 3.9 liter. Ford V8 flathead petrol, which put out 85 horsepower. <sighs> All I know is it was hot, and my legs smell like bacon. They go up to 30 miles an hour, which I think for 1941, something like that's probably, you know. But yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine on a um, in go, like in the middle of a battle, you have to get into this thing. I think it's got like an inch plate. Um, like the front of it is like inch plate, I guess that, that'd stop a lot of things, but you just open at the top. There's no being inside. <laughs> There's no being. Oh, oh. I'm gonna put that back up there. <laughs> really clamped my nipple. Can I talk about the tank now? So he's, he's three years old. He's got two teeth missing. Beach. I know his feet smell like popcorn. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, he had a very nice vehicle collection. But yeah, no, it was very nice of him to take us out, and it was nice of Roger to organise it and instruct us whether to go left or right. Do you remember when we went round that corner <gasps> and nearly crashed into that car? He <laughs> 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 was just like, oh! He <laughs> just, just went where he wanted, didn't he? Yeah, we first round of it. We're just blasting through the town and uh, people are just like, what the hell is that? 
it was noisy, but in a, I, I loved it. Just the smell of petrol, just like wafting up. The smell of burning flesh wafting up. They did use them in, like, I believe they did use them in, like, hot countries. Imagine being in a hot country, in that, going to war with your leg pressed against the, the engine. You had a pretty good spot actually up on the side, you and Brad, with your, with your helmet on. Full fancy dress. Full fancy dress outfit. And then Roger whipped the flag out. I don't know any of the sayings that they would have said in war. Don't die. Thanks for watching today's video. I really hope it's been informative. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt and diesel.